Hello everyone this is part 1 of what if Naruto married Hinata early, and Tej's story is made by Rum Sungwoo, and I hope you guys enjoy this video and to like, to subscribe, and check out the playlist to see more comment down below, now let's start the, intro. Man I sure can't wait to see everybody, it's been two years. Said a boy with spiky, yellow hair, and sky blue eyes. Yay well when we reach the village we have to go meet Suna to report to her. Said a man with long, white, spiky hair. But, the boy was cut off before he could finish, no buts, it will only be a short report. Said Jiraiya. Fine. Naruto pouted, crossing his arms. Hey Eno. I heard Naruto is returning to the village today. Want to go see if he I hear? Sakura asked. Sure. Since my mother is watering the flowers. Eno smiled. As the two walked out of the store, they both walked towards the open gates. You know we should go find Hanata. Said Eno. Her. Kiba and Shino are on a quick mission to check around the forest. Sakura said looking forward. Entering the gates Naruto looked around. The village hasn't changed a bit from when I last saw it. Naruto said happily. Naruto and Jiraiya checked in with the guards, who looked like they were going to die of boredom. Looking up ahead Sakura saw Tumi enter the village. One had yellow, golden spiky hair with an orange and black jumpsuit, and an old man with long, white spiky hair. Sakura stared at the one with yellow spiky hair. Is that Naruto? He's gotten so handsome and tall. Sakura blushed at the thought. Even though she said it her feelings for Sasuke would never change. Come on Eno they're here. Sakura said racing up ahead. Heading towards Suna's office Naruto heard his name being called out. Naruto. The voice called out again. Squinting his eyes he saw a girl with short pink hair with a red outfit and a girl with a white blonde with a purple outfit race towards him. Sakura, Eno. Naruto yelled back. As the two girls reached him finally Naruto noticed Sakura looked a lot more pretty. Hey guys. Naruto smiled giving a big grin. Hey you knucklehead I missed you. Sakura gave him a soft punch on the shoulder. Same, where is everybody else? Naruto asked. Kiba, Hanata and Shino are on a mission. Shikamaru Choji and Neji are coming back from a long-term mission today. Mostly everybody is training or on missions. Sakura answered. Oh, well I have to go report to Grandma Sunad. Naruto said. We'll come to catch up. Ino said. Entering Sunad's office Naruto was punched into the wall. Naruto confused looked at Grandma Sunad. What was that for? Naruto yelled. It's my welcome home present. The Hokage laughed. Naruto getting to his feet, ouch. Naruto said rubbing his back. After a few minutes of arguing Naruto told everything he did on his training with Jiraiya, beside the perverted parts that his teacher did. Can I leave now? Naruto said. Of course. Sunad said. Come here though. She asked. Confused Naruto walked up to her. Sunad kissed up on the forehead then punched him out of her office. Flying into the air Naruto hit the ground. Damn you Grandma Sunad. Naruto yelled putting his fist up. Cursing under his breath Naruto got up only to fell rush of pain in his back. Walking around the village Naruto hoped he would see someone familiar but his answer was no. Another idea popped into his head. Rushing towards his favorite place in the village. Ichiraku Ramen. Naruto said happily. Sitting down he saw the old man walk up to him. Naruto is that you? The old man asked. Yep old man it's really me. Naruto gave a big smile. What can I get for you? He asked. Me so pork ramen please. Naruto smiled. After a few minutes of waiting Naruto noticed out of the corner of his eye someone staring at him. Looking towards the person direction the person hid. Ignoring them his order came to him. Here you go Naruto, on the house. The old man smiled. All right. Naruto said putting his hands together then dug in. Slurping up his meal when he was done he thanked the old man again. Noticing the person was staring at him again. Walking towards them Naruto wondered who it was. Naruto saw her, breathing hard Hanata's face got red. Looking behind the fence he saw a long purple hair girl, with lavender eyes. Naruto stared at the beautiful girl. Blushing Naruto noticed it was Hanata. Hanata. Naruto smiled. Hanata's face got red. And Naruto-kun. Hanata stuttered. Hanata tried to work on her stuttering towards Naruto, she practiced every day and seemed to got the hang of it, 
until he was here all that practice was washed away suddenly. How are you Hanata? Naruto asked putting his hand out to help her up off the hard ground. Hanata looked at his hand shyly. Grabbing his hand her heart was beating fast. Getting to her feet she looked away. I I'm doing G great. Hanata said shyly. Naruto looked at Hanata. C had such a perfect figure, the ones pervy sage would talk about. Her breasts were perfect size too. Hanata to be honest with himself looked better than Sakura. Naruto's face went completely red at his thoughts. Man Hanata you sure gotten pretty. Naruto said blushing as he gave her a big smile, scratching the back of his head he wondered how she would react. Hanata was about to faint but she held it together. Staring at Naruto, Hanata blushed harder. He was tall, and handsome, its blue eyes were as blue as ever. Gaining her confidence she took a deep breath in then out. T thank you, you gotten handsome as well. Hanata blushed. Naruto's heart started beating fast. Why? What was this feeling of pleasure? Pervy Sage would talk about this feeling, but Naruto never really paid attention. Thanks. He smiled. Suddenly a wave of pain washed over his back. Wincing Naruto rubbed his back. Naruto kun are you okay? Hanata asked. Grandma Sunid punched me in the back, which caused my back to hurt I think. Naruto clenching his teeth. Here let me help. Hanata said. Hanata went behind him and lifted up his jacked and undershirt. Doing a medical jutsu Hanata rubbed around his back, she couldn't reach further. You are men Naruto-kun I need you to take off your S-shirt and jacket. Hanata blushed. Okay. Naruto D lifting up his jacket and shirt. Resuming the medical jutsu Hanata's heart was beating faster than every. After a few minutes she stopped. Oh okay I'm done. Hanata said shyly. Thanks. Naruto said. It was nothing. She said shyly. Naruto sat and thought for a bit. Hey Hanata are you hungry? Naruto asked. A little bit. She said. Good. I'll treat you to some ramen for healing my back. Naruto smiled. It's fine really. Hanata said. Nope let's go. Naruto said grabbing her hand. Hanata blushed at the feeling of Naruto's hand grabbing her hand. Sitting down the old man came to take their order. Back again Naruto. He asked. Yup. My friend here healed my back to I'm treating her to some of your famous ramen, Naruto smiled. What do you want Hanata? Naruto asked. Em miso ramen please. She said blushing looking away. And some beef ramen for me. Naruto smiled big. Miso ramen and beef ramen coming up. The old man smiled. Talking to Hanata about what he did on his two year training their ramen came out. Eating Naruto resumed to tell her what he did. Hanata would giggle and blush once in a while when Naruto mentioned what pervy sage would do to the women and you would get punched in the face. Naruto's heart kept beating hard when he was around Hanata, and her giggling would make his heart skip a beat. Confused but this great feeling Naruto tried to ignore it, maybe he would ask pervy sage what's wrong with him. As it got dark Hanata got up. I should be heading home Neji might get worried. I'll walk you home, it wouldn't be gentlemanlike if I let such a beautiful girl walk home alone. It's fine really. Hanata said. Nope. Now let's go Naruto said waking then stopped. Um. Lead the way. He smiled. Hanata giggled then went ahead. Walking beside Hanata Naruto's heart began to beat faster when he looked at her hand. Getting a hold of himself he shook his head. When they reached Hanata's house Naruto's eyes were open with shock. Your home is huge Hanata. Naruto gasped. Why yeah I guess you're right. Hanata said shyly. W well good night. Hanata said about to walk away. Suddenly she felt Naruto grasp her hand. Wait Hanata, I just want to say thanks again for healing my back. Naruto smiled big scratching the back of his head. Why you're welcome. Hanata smiled. Walking home Naruto thought about Hanata. For some reason his heart aced now. The feeling of loneliness washed over his body. Signing he reached his apartment. Opening the door he expected dust to fly everywhere but it didn't. Looking into his apartment it was nice and cleaned. Looking around all the crack and holes in his apartment was fixed to the point you couldn't even notice them. Confused he walked into his bedroom to see his bed was nice and made. Who did this? After enough looking around his apartment he looked out his balcony. Looking down he heard some voices. It was Sakura and Ino. Naruto's heart skipped a beat at Sakura's sight. Hey Sakura, do you know who cleaned my apartment? Naruto asked. Sakura and Ino looked up at him. Oh hey Naruto, and no Hanata did for a welcome home present for you. 
Sakura yelled. Naruto's heart started beating fast at the sound of Hanata's name. Okay thanks. Naruto said. Good night. Ino and Sakura said walking away. Man I really wish Naruto could realize how much Hanata has fallen for him. Ino pouted. Yay. But that is just Naruto, but I'm sure he will realize it soon. Sakura said. Suddenly a idea popped into Sakura's head. Ino, I have a idea. Sakura smiled. Naruto laid down on his bed thinking about Hanata. How could he make it up to her? She was always helping him, or idea popped into his head. I'll ask her to go on a picnic with me in the forest, then we could go swimming at that one waterfall near the forest. Naruto said excitedly. Closing his eyes he fell asleep instantly. Waking up Naruto rushed and got dressed in his usual orange and black jumpsuit. He wanted to hurry and race over to Hanata before she was gone. Racing out his apartment he went to looks for Hanata's home. Looking everywhere he noticed he was lost. How could I forget where she lives, I was there only last night. He signed. Looking for a couple of minutes he noticed Neji walking around. Naruto's hopes lifted. Hey Neji. Naruto smiled. Hey Naruto. Neji said. Do you by any chance know where Hanata is? Naruto asked hopeful. I heard she went on a dangerous mission nothing although. Neji said. Signing Naruto looked towards Grandma Sunid's office. Okay. Well thanks anyways. Naruto said racing towards the hockage. Man what's up with him? Neji signed. On the way to the office Naruto thought about what could happen to Hanata. Neji said she was on a dangerous mission, how dangerous, he thought to himself. Worried, Naruto noticed he was sweating. Knocking on Grandma Sunid's door, hey Grandma Sunid. Naruto yelled. Come in. Her voice rang through the door. Grandma Sunid what type of mission is Hanata on? He asked slamming his hand on her desk. We found two members of the Akatsuki. She answered. Who is she with? Naruto asked. Sakura and Kakashi and Lee. She looked at him. Please can I go? He asked. Sunid thought for a second. No, not while the Akatsuki is after you. She said. That doesn't matter, just let me go. Naruto said worryingly. No, and since you want to go on a mission so badly here. Sunid said giving him a paper. Naruto threw the paper on the ground. I want to go on this mission with Hanata. Naruto growled getting angry. Suddenly he saw anger flaring in Sunid's eyes. Naruto looked at her scared. Well I'll see you later Grandma Sunid. He said rushing out the down bumping into a man. Sorry. Naruto yelled racing away. Naruto. He heard Grandma Sunid yell loudly. Shivers went down Naruto's spine. If he stayed any longer he would be a dead man. Luckily for him he managed to grab the mission he saw in her office about the Akatsuki. Opening the file he saw the teams that were sent to look for them. Finally he saw who Hanata's team was after. Naruto was about to choke on his own spit. Hanata's team was after Itachi and his partner Kisum. Naruto knew how dangerous they were. Looking at the file it said that their sighting was about 20 miles from the village. Naruto's hope raised up. I want you to keep our eye on Naruto. Jiraiya told me something terrible what happened with Naruto in the middle of their training. If you see any red chakra leak out of Naruto seal it with the sealing jutsu. Sunid said. Yes ma'am. A man said. Your name will be Yamato. Sunid said. Yamato nodded then disappeared. Racing into the forest Naruto felt chills down his spine. Is Hanata okay? Naruto felt angry that Grandma Sunid put Hanata on such a dangerous mission, and not him. Suddenly Naruto felt the ground shake. Halting Naruto wondered what that was. Suddenly he heard a loud screaming farther up ahead. Racing towards the noise he wondered what was happening. Suddenly there was a huge globe of water surrounding the rest of the area before him. He knew what this was it was Kissam's globe of water that makes you drown to death, or he would be able to fight in water. Taking a deep breath Naruto jumped into the water. Swimming around Naruto saw Sakura and Kakashi swimming around trying to fight the fish guy. Naruto swam out of the globe in a rush. Hanata must be outside of the globe fighting Itachi. Running around Naruto heard another loud scream. Realizing it was Hanata's Naruto ran faster. Stopping to halt Naruto stared as Hanata was standing in front of Itachi. Hanata must be in a genjutsu. Hanata suddenly fell to the ground unmoving. Hanata. Naruto yelled racing to her side. Pushing her to get up Hanata laid still. Hanata get up. Naruto said. Hanata finally but slowly looked up at him. Getting to his feet Naruto stared at Itachi with cold eyes. If it isn't the QBI. 
Itachi said interested. Clenching his fist Naruto raced towards Itachi. Shadow clone Jutsu. Naruto yelled. A clone of Naruto raced next to the original Naruto forming a Raisingan. Almost touching Itachi he disappeared. Reinforcements. Itachi said behind Naruto. Naruto noticed another man with the hidden leaf village symbol. Suddenly Itachi looked towards his partner's direction. Kiss him let's go we caught another tailed beast. Itachi yelled. Suddenly the globe of water disappeared. Always when we are having fun. Kissam said. Suddenly the two disappeared. Come back you cowards. Naruto yelled angrily. Naruto's left anger when he remembered Hanata. Looking to where he last saw her she was missing. Where is Hanata? Naruto asked the man. Don't worry I put her in a safer place follow me. Naruto saw Sakura and Kakashi come out into the opening soaking wet. Naruto followed the man. Kakashi and Sakura followed also. Naruto wondered how Hanata was doing, he was extremely worried about her, to the point where he felt like he was going to die. Following the man Naruto hoped Hanata was alright like the man said. Suddenly he saw laying down on the grass. Racing towards her he picked her up bridal style. I'll meet you guys at the village to report to Sunid. Naruto said racing away. Man he sure is worried about Hanata. Kakashi said. I guess maybe he likes her. Kakashi said. Finally I hope he does Hanata has literally liked him since they were kids. Sakura signed. Hanata woke up to see Naruto's face. And Naruto-kun. Hanata said sleepily. It's okay Hanata I'm here now. Naruto smiled down at her. Hanata smiled back and closed her eyes. Reaching the village Naruto raced past the gates past the guards. Racing towards the village's hospital Naruto skid to halt. Take care of her please. Naruto said. One of the nurses smiled. Of course wait here please. She said laying Hanata down on a bed and walking off. Naruto signed calmly. After about an hour Naruto began to worry. Was Hanata okay? Was she hurt badly? All bad thoughts went through his head until a nurse walked up to him. Naruto shot up to his feet. How is she? Naruto asked worryingly. She's fine, just tired and a little weak. You can go visit her now if you want. She smiled. Thank you. Naruto smiled. Room 33. The nurse said beginning to walk off. Naruto thought for a second. He should go get Hanata a get well card and flowers. Nodding he raced out of the hospital to Eno's mother's shop. Looking around he saw lavender flowers, that matched Hanata's eyes, and a lavender card that went with it. Perfect. Naruto said. Paying for them he waved goodbye and raced back to the hospital. Looking around for room 33 Naruto got confused. Scratching the back of his head he saw a male nurse walking. Um excuse me where is room 33? Naruto asked. Down the hall to your left. The male nurse said. Hey thanks. Naruto said walking away. Looking up at the door it said room 33. Breathing in and out Naruto opened up the door. Hanata was asleep on the bed. Naruto sat in a chair next to her. Setting down the flowers and card he looked at Hanata. She looked so cute when she was asleep. Naruto's heart started to beat fast. What's going on with me? Confused he ignored his heart beating. As the sun started to go down Naruto decided to stay. Hanata looked too gentle, her skin looked so smooth, her hair looked silky. Naruto's eyes started to get droopy until he couldn't hold it anymore he fell asleep soundly. Waking up Hanata looked around. She saw Naruto sleeping on a chair next to her. Blushing Hanata's heart started beating. She saw lavender flowers next to her with a card saying, get well. Opening the card it said, dear Hanata, I hope you start feeling better, because I was wondering if you wanted to go on a picnic with me then go swimming in a waterfall when you feel better. Love Naruto Uzumaki. Hanata blushed at the thought of being with Naruto on a picnic. Suddenly she saw Naruto waking up. Hanata blushed harder, Hanata you're awake. Naruto smiled. Naruto noticed she had his card in her hand. She must have read it, Naruto thought. Did you read it? Naruto asked. Hanata gave a nodded. So, do you want to? Naruto asked smiling big. Hanata's face turned even redder, she managed to give him another nod of approval. We can go today if you are feeling better. Naruto asked Hanata. I if you want Naruto-kun. Hanata said shyly. Alright then I already have everything packed in case you did say yes, so I'll be back. Naruto smiled racing away. Hanata though of sitting with Naruto in the forest, the breeze washing through them, then going swimming with him. 
he would be shirtless, Hanata blushed as red as a rose thinking of Naruto shirtless. After a few minutes Naruto finally returned panting. Hanata giggled. After checking out Naruto and Hanata walked out of the hospital. T thank you Naruto-kun for the flowers. Hanata said shyly. No problem, I got them mostly because they matched your beautiful eyes. No one ever complimented Hanata's eyes before. T thank you, I um, might have to go get my bathing suit. Hanata said. Don't worry about it I went to tell Grandma Sunid about us going out of the village for the day, after getting a long lecture from her and a punch in the face she gave me a bathing suit for you that she bought for herself but bought the wrong size and asked Sakura what size you wear, and it was the right size. Naruto said. Oh okay. Hanata said. Naruto wondered what it looked like. To be honest with himself he wouldn't wait to see Hanata in a bathing suit. Showing off her perfect smooth skin and curves. As they headed out of the village they walked on a path into the forest near the waterfall. Naruto started to drool at the thought of seeing Hanata in a bathing suit. Snapping himself out of it Naruto wondered why he thought of Hanata so much ever since he has entered the village. Forgetting about the thought Naruto could hear the sound of the rushing water. Finally after a few minutes they reached the waterfall. It was a pretty aqua blue, it was also nice clear clean water. Well shall we swim first, then eat? Naruto asked. Eh swim first, because then we have to wait 30 minutes to swim. Hanata said. You're right, man you're smart Hanata. Naruto said giving a big smile. Suddenly a thought went into Hanata's head. Naruto-kun where am I supposed to get dressed? Hanata asked shyly blushing. Naruto forgot about that. Naruto looked around to see if anybody was about. Nobody is out here so you can change over there. Naruto said pointing behind a large bush. Hanata wanted to refuse but nodded. Naruto handed the bag where her swimsuit was and two his swimming shorts out. They were orange with black line on the sides. When Hanata went behind the bush Naruto changed himself into his swimming shorts then took off his jacket and shirt. All right, Naruto said loudly, then jumping into the water. Swimming up he saw Hanata. She was wearing a black bikini with red swirls in the middle of each side on the top piece. Naruto began blushing, his heart beating fast. Do I look okay, en Naruto-kun? Hanata asked shyly. Naruto stared, Hanata looked so hot for lack of words. She had such beautiful curves with such a nice skin tone, with large breasts. Naruto finally noticed he was drooling. Why yeah you look amazing. He said quietly. T thank you. Hanata said blushing. Naruto was surprised she heard him, he would usually have to speak loudly for others to hear him. Well come on in the water feels nice. Naruto smiled. Oh okay. Hanata said. She leaped into the water doing a perfect dive. Naruto looked up to see a large rock above them. Naruto smirked he had a fun idea. Jumping out of the water onto the grass he started climbing the rocks. Hanata swam up to see Naruto was climbing the rocks up the waterfall. He had a nice tan body, his arms were nice and muscled and he had a six pack. Hanata blushed. And Naruto-kun what are you doing? Hanata spoke loudly. You'll see. He yelled down to her. Naruto finally reached the large rock, standing up he looked around, he could see the village. Naruto looked down only to jump backwards. Naruto realized he looked like a afraid child. Gaining enough courage Naruto leaped off the rock. The wind hit him roughly at his body. Preparing to do a dive he saw Hanata looked at him with her beautiful eyes. Not realizing it Naruto went smack down into the water. Hanata winched at the loud smacking sound as Naruto hit the water. Naruto slowly swam up. His body was red as a rose. Ouch. He cried. Hanata giggled Naruto always did things that made her giggle. Naruto looked at Hanata giggling. The pain suddenly went away when he heard Hanata's giggles. She was so cute when she giggled because of him. After a half hour of swimming they got out and wrapped towels around themselves. Naruto laid down a black and orange blanket and put the picnic basket down on it. As they both sat down Naruto began making their lunch. He made them a ham sandwich with watermelon. As they both dug in Naruto was the first to finish. After a few minutes later Hanata finished her meal. The sun started to go down. Its beautiful orange, red, yellow, pink, and blue colors covered the sky. Naruto laid down close to Hanata her warmth made Naruto feel warm inside. It's so beautiful. Hanata gasped. But you're more beautiful, Naruto said looking at Hanata. Hanata looked at Naruto, his eyes were as pretty as the sky. Naruto suddenly leaned in and kissed Hanata. 
Hanata was shocked that she ended up fainting. Naruto looked at Hanata as she laid down sleeping. Naruto started laughing then wrapped a blanket over them and fell asleep beside Hanata. As the sun shined through the trees, making the waterfall a golden, blue color. Flocks of birds flew up from hearing deer frolic through the bushes. Hanata slowly opened her eyes. She remembered her dream, it's felt so real. Her and Naruto watched the sunset, Naruto called her beautiful then he kissed her. Seeing Naruto snoring, he was also drooling in his sleep. Even though it was a dream that Naruto kissed her at least they spent the whole day together yesterday. Hanata. Naruto smiled in his dreams. Naruto was dreaming that him and Hanata were on a hill watching the stars together, pointing out the Big Dipper, and the Little Dipper. It was such a perfect dream, it felt so real. Hanata heard Naruto say her name in his sleep. And Naruto K. Hanata stopped. She didn't want to be that shy girl in front of Naruto. And Naruto. Hanata said pushing him lightly. Suddenly Naruto's arm swung. Naruto's eyes opened, he felt a nice cushion, he squished the cushion. Looking over he saw Hanata's face red as ever. Confused he looked to see where his hand was, only to see his hand on her breast. Hanata gave a little squeal. Naruto hurried and swung his arm away from here. SSS sorry Hanata, I wash sleeping then and. Naruto's face went as red as a apple. After a few minutes of Naruto scrambling for words he went out of breath. I it's okay Naruto, it was a accident. Hanata said blushing still. Naruto was surprised she didn't call him Naruto-kun. Thank God. Naruto said wiping the sweat off his face. Hanata giggled, it was cute to see Naruto struggling like that. Hanata loved Naruto with all her heart. When they were younger Hanata desperately tried to catch up to him, but he seemed so far away from her. Sakura would usually ask why Hanata never confessed to him before, Hanata would reply saying she would probably faint, like she always did when they were young. Seeing Naruto leave for two years broke Hanata's heart but she knew he was going to become strong. Naruto training and getting stronger meant that Hanata had to get stronger and try her very best. There was never a day when Hanata would not think about Naruto. Hanata would usually train all day and night. Neji even admitted Hanata was strong too. Hanata never bothered to care what they think she always wanted Naruto to compliment her. When Naruto came back to the village Hanata was so very happy. She actually cried with tears of joy when Naruto came back. Now hanging out with him on his third day back felt amazing to Hanata, now seeing him Hanata was happy, she started to giggle. Naruto looked at Hanata giggling and started laughing. After laughing for a few minutes Naruto packed their things. Looking back at the waterfall Naruto smiled he would remember that night he kissed Hanata. He didn't know why he kissed her, it just happened. Naruto didn't understand these feeling he had, so he just ignored them. Naruto wondered if Hanata liked the kiss that they both shared. Hey Hanata. Naruto said. Yes Naruto. Hanata asked. H how did you like the kiss from last night? Naruto said shyly. Hanata stopped, it wasn't a dream. Naruto had really kissed her. The man Hanata has fallen in love with and acknowledged for years kissed her. It was like a dream come true for her, she was filled with joy. Hanata, he asked. Hanata flashed back to reality when Naruto was waiting for her answer. I I liked it. Hanata blushed. W what about you? Hanata asked. What? Oh all right, I I liked it too, it was actually the first time I kissed a girl before. He said scratching the back of his head embarrassed. Hanata knew why he said hat. Naruto's first kiss was Sasuke-kun, he accidentally kissed him though. I it was my first kiss. Hanata said shyly. Really, you're such a beautiful girl though. Naruto looked surprised. Thanks. She smiled. Hanata always wanted Naruto to be her first kiss with. Hey Hanata I have a question. Naruto asked. Yes Naruto. Hanata said. Naruto was going to ask her why his heart was beating so fast around her, but instead of her he was going to change it to Sakura. Why does my heart beat so fast around Sakura-chan? Naruto asked. Hanata looked at him maybe the kiss they both shared didn't mean anything, Hanata knew Naruto has liked Sakura since they were kids. Maybe because you like her. Hanata said holding back her sadness, but if Naruto was happy then Hanata was happy. Naruto was surprised, that meant that maybe he liked Hanata. What do I now do now? Naruto thought deeply in his head. Naruto looked at Hanata, she was beautiful, perfect height, perfect body, and she was so shy and kind, and also gentle. Hanata, 
I have one more question. Naruto asked. Hey Hanata can I ask you one more question? Naruto asked walking with hands on the back of his head. Naruto thought for a second. He should ask Pervy Sage or Sakura to see if he liked Hanata. If Naruto did like Hanata, he didn't want to go out with her so fast. He would need to get the hang of feeling what he was feeling, and he thought to himself. Naruto liked Sakura and he always did, he felt so confused with himself. Naruto was so deep in thought that he couldn't hear Hanata calling his name, until she bumped his shoulder. Yes. Naruto looked down at Hanata. Why you wanted to ask me a question? She said confused. Oh never mind. Naruto said. When they finally reached the village, Naruto and Hanata waved to the guards. T thanks for yesterday. Hanata smiled at Naruto. No. Thank you for cleaning my apartment. Naruto said remembering just in time. Why you're welcome Naruto, but I I have to go, Neji might need me for something. Hanata said running off. Naruto just smiled, bye Hanata. Naruto yelled waving, to see she waved back shyly. Now what do I do? Naruto asked himself. Hey Naruto, Sunid asked me to tell you to go to her office when you guys got back. One of the guards said to him. Oh, okay thank you. Naruto said running off. Grandma Sunid must have some sort of awesome mission waiting for me. Naruto yelled with excitement. Seeing the Hokage's office Naruto raced through the halls, suddenly bumping into somebody. It was the same man he bumped into before. Sorry. Naruto said racing off again. Yamato looked at the kid running, man what's he in a hurry for? Yamato signed. Naruto knocked on Grandma Sunid's door. Come in. She yelled. Naruto opened up the door and walked in to see Ino and Sakura. Good Naruto you're here. Sunid said. Right. Do you have a mission for me? Naruto asked hopeful. Indeed. She said. The village hidden in the mist has a problem. A gang called Masked Ninjas, where red and black masks have stolen something valuable to the village. You shall go with Sakura, Ino and Hanata, and Kiba. Sunid said. All right. Naruto said putting his fist up in the air, finally his first mission since he came home. You shall leave at dawn. Sunid said. Got it. Naruto said. Now go and pack your bags, you'll be gone for at least a week. Catch the thieves and return the valuable item. Sunid said. Naruto nodded and walked out of the office. Walking to his apartment he looked around. Looking around for a familiar face, Naruto couldn't find the old pervert. Signing he opened his door. Walking in he went into his bedroom, and fall on his bed. Man I'm so confused with my feelings. Do I like Sakura, or Hanata? Naruto asked himself. Rubbing his hair frustrated he got up and opened up his drawers. Naruto grabbed some clothes of his and shoved them into his bag. Going into the kitchen he grabbed some instant ramen, with chopsticks. Zipping up his bag he went out to his balcony. Looking around at the peaceful village Naruto breathed in then out. All right. Naruto said. Grabbing his bag he locked his apartment door then left. He was going to be early, but that was all right. Looking around Naruto smiled as he saw some kids racing around. At least they weren't lonely. Naruto shrugged the past was the past there was nothing he could fix. Reaching the gate Naruto stood waiting patiently. After about half an hour of Naruto being bored out of his mind Sakura, Ino, Hanata, and Kiba finally showed up. Naruto stared at them angrily. Why you do you know how long I waited or you guys? Naruto yelled pointing at the four. Sorry Naruto we went to get a quick bite to eat. Sakura laughed. Why you? Naruto growled as the four of them laughed. As the five walked out of the village the three girls walked in the back while Kiba and Naruto walked next to each other. So Naruto long time no see. Kiba said. Yay yeah, it's been a while. Naruto said. Do you know what the mission is about? Kiba asked. Yay. Yeah, and I'm going to catch those thieves, ya yeah, no. Naruto said putting his fist up. Not if I catch them first. Kiba said. Akamaru barked. Naruto looked at Kiba. Shall we do a little bet? Naruto smiled. Sure. How about first one to get the item from the thieves gets 30 bucks. Kiba grinned. You're on. Naruto smiled. Naruto and Kiba shook hands and nodded. As the five of them kept walking Naruto heard something rustle in the bushes. Looking over he saw it was nothing. Ignoring it after a few moments he heard it again. Does anyone hear that? Naruto asked. Nope it must just be you. Kiba said walking on further. I'll be right back. Naruto said. Okay we will set up camp a little farther ahead. 
Sakura said. Naruto nodded and walked towards the last time he heard the noise. Looking all around Naruto saw nothing, he swore he heard something though. Suddenly he heard the bushes rustle. Swinging his head in the direction of the noise he raced towards it. Naruto ended up near a pond. Suddenly a little girl popped her head out of a bush. Naruto stared at her, she had long icy blonde hair, with silver eyes. She was wearing black sandals with long socks, with a black skirt and a silver shirt with a black tiger's face on the back of her shirt. The girl looked about nine years old. She looked weary of Naruto. Hello. Naruto waved. The little girl flinched, but waved back. H hello. The girl said. She had such a gentle voice. Are you out here all alone? Naruto asked walking towards her. The girl stepped back cautiously. Look. I'm not going to hurt you I promise, and when I make a promise I never go back on it. Naruto smiled putting his thumb up. The girl looked at him then walked slowly towards him. So why are you out here all alone? Naruto asked sitting down. I, I was taken from my home. She said. Where is your home? Naruto asked. The little girl pointed in the direction they were going. The village of the hidden mist, is that your home? Naruto asked. I, I don't know. She confessed. That's okay, I'll help you find your home, I promise. Naruto smiled. The girl looked at him with a hopeful glance. Home. She repeated the word. So who stole you? Naruto asked. You um, a scary man W with a red and black mask. She stuttered. Naruto looked at her with wide eyes. We're looking for guys with red and black masks. Naruto gasped. When's the last time you seen them? Naruto asked. L last night. The girl said. Wait why did they steal you? Naruto asked. I I don't know that either. She looked at him. That's okay. Oh. I'm Naruto Uzumaki by the way. Naruto smiled getting to his feet. I'm Sora. The girl gave a small shy smile. Well my friends are waiting for me, so let's go. Naruto looked down at her. Here want a piggyback ride? Naruto asked. The girl gave him a big smile and nodded. Well up you go then. Naruto smiled lifting her up onto his shoulders. All right. Hold on tight. Naruto said running towards the camp. Naruto laughed as he rode the girl around. Sora started laughing. Hearing Sakura and Ino fight Naruto ran towards them. Entering the camp, they had sleeping bags on the ground for them to sleep in, with a small campfire in the middle. Hey guys. Naruto smiled putting Sora down. Who is this? Sakura asked. This is Sora, I found her apparently the masked ninjas stole her from her home. She doesn't know why though. Naruto said looking down at the girl who was hugging him closely. Don't worry these people won't hurt you. Naruto patted her on the head, she had such soft silky hair. Sora looked up at him, promise. Sora asked, promise. Naruto smiled. Naruto sat down with the others around the campfire. Naruto was cooking a instant cup of ramen for him and Sora. Sakura, Ino, and Hanata shared some fruit with each other. Kiba feed Akamaru some of his sandwich. Here you go, be careful it's hot. Naruto smiled handing Sora a cup of ramen. When it started to get dark Naruto got up. I'll be right back. Naruto said, where are you going now? Ino asked. Nature calls. Naruto said waving his hand. Suddenly he felt a tug on his leg. Looking down he saw it was Sora. P please don't leave me Naruto-sama. Sora looked at him. Don't worry I'll be right back. Naruto smiled. I promise. Naruto said. Sora looked at him then let go of him. Naruto walked into the forest unzipping his pants. He relieved himself. Signing Naruto zipped his pants up and walked back to camp. He saw Sora was away from the campfire. She was sitting by a tree in the dark. Sora hurried and got to her feet and raced to Naruto and hugged his leg. Man Naruto, she sure is close to you. Kiba said. Naruto glared at him and looked down at Sora and smiled. Well let's get some sleep before we end up being tired in the morning. In commented. The others nodded in agreement squirming inside their sleeping bags. Wait who is Sora going to sleep with? Kiba asked. She can use my sleeping bag, I can lay on the ground. Naruto said. Whatever. Sakura said yawning. Naruto helped Sora into the sleeping bag then laid down on the ground a little bigger way. Yawning Naruto put his hands under his head and looked up at the stars. Suddenly he felt something squirm up to him. Naruto looked over to see Sora cuddling up to him. Sora fell asleep instantly, Naruto smiled then fell asleep. Naruto woke to the sound of footsteps. 
Looking over his eyes still blurry from sleep he saw Sora was missing. Naruto noticed everybody else was still soundly asleep. Naruto started panicking. Getting to his feet he hurried and put his sandals on. Looking around for Sora Naruto ended up empty-handed. Naruto remembered the pond where he found her. Naruto raced towards the spot. Only a little bit further away Naruto saw a blue glowing. Walking slowly towards the pond he hid in a bush. Looking out he saw the familiar face. Sora. She was standing in the middle of what it seemed like a blue chakra that looked like fire. Naruto was about to say her name, until she fell to her knees giving a scream of pain. Suddenly a huge tiger made out of chakra floated above her. Looking closer Naruto saw her eyes changing from silver to red, along with her chakra. Starring in horror Naruto's eyes grew wide. Sora stood on her hands and feet the red chakra forming a tiger-like shape around her. Suddenly she looked straight at Naruto, hearing a loud growl she leaped for him. Before touching him Naruto's eyes flew open, realizing it was just a dream Naruto looked around, it was almost dusk. Naruto took slow breaths, in and out. He looked over to see Sora cuddled up next to him. Naruto could still see the dream, what did it mean, why did he have it? Naruto looked up at the sky thinking. Did the dream and Sora have something in common? Naruto suddenly realized Sora had a tiger face on the back of her shirt. Naruto looked at Sora, could she really be that monster in the dream? Naruto looked at her for a few seconds. No it must have been just a coincidence she's just a small helpless child who doesn't know where her home is. Signing Naruto decided to get up and stretch, at that moment he heard Sora say something quietly in her sleep. Bending down Naruto listened closer. No, no leave me alone, I didn't do anything wrong. She cried silently in her sleep. Naruto saw her squirm around helplessly, and she started breathing hard. Naruto had enough watching her squirm around. Nudging her away her always opened instantly. Naruto-sama. Sora stared at him confused. You were having a nightmare. Naruto said. Sora stared at him then nodded. Waking up the others they packed up the things and headed out. As they started walking towards the village hidden in the mist. Looking back Naruto saw Hanata stare at Sora, Hanata was deep in thought Naruto noticed. Hanata looked up at Naruto, their eyes met. Naruto thought about the kiss and turned away blushing. I like Sakura right. Naruto wasn't even sure with himself even more, but right now he needed to focus on Sora. So, Sora what's your favorite animal? Naruto asked. I'm not quite sure, maybe tigers. Sora said looking up at him. Naruto flinched the dream was still stuck inside his head. Really, tigers are amazing creatures. Naruto smiled, Sora nodded smiling. Hey Naruto we should be seeing the village here in about three miles. Sakura said. Right. Naruto nodded. After about 30 more minutes of walking Naruto and the others could finally see the bridge. Suddenly Naruto's stomach groaned, hey guys you don't mind if we get there we can get something to eat. Naruto asked grinning. Fine. Since we all haven't had something to eat yet. Sakura singed. Entering the village it was quite large. Finally now let's find the nearest dinning place. Kiba commented. All right. Naruto smiled. Looking around Naruto saw some carpenters, and children running around. The children stopped and looked at the ninjas. Wo looked real ninjas. A brown haired boy squealed. Naruto waved at them passing by. After a while Naruto and the others came up to a nice diner. It was rather small but it looked nice. Entering that sat at the first table that was empty. Sitting down Ino sat by Sakura and Hanata. Naruto sat in the middle of Sora and Kiba. Looking over Naruto saw a waiter come from another table. Hello, what can I get for you young ladies and gentlemen today? The waiter asked. I'll have some mangoes. Sakura said. Same with me please. Ino nodded. I'll have some peaches. Hanata said shyly. The waiter wrote him down then looked at Kiba and Naruto. I'll have some beef. Kiba smiled. And I will have some miso ramen. Naruto gave a big grin. After they waiter wrote down their orders she looked then she looked over to Sora. What can I get for you little lady? The waiter gave a calm smile. I'll have some miso ramen too please. Sora blushed. Sure thing. The waiter smiled writing it down and walking away. So Sora, do you remember anything of those masked men, and why they wanted you? Sakura asked interested. And no not really, T they came up to me and said need me for something. Sora said. T then they took me in a dark place and they gave me something to eat. I it hurt but they said it will help me, then they took away my bracklete. 
Sora said sacredly. It's okay we're here now, we're going to protect you no matter what. Naruto said smiling. Sora gave a nod with a smile. Looking over Naruto saw their waiter bringing their orders. All right. Naruto said. Finishing their meals everyone paid for theirs, but Naruto paid for his and Sora's. Leaving the money on the table they walked out of the diner. All right now let's look for Gino-san. Sakura said. Letting Sakura lead Naruto walked between Sora and Hanata. Hanata was looking at the villagers walking by, she gave a few waves to the children. Naruto suddenly saw Sora she was looking particularly at something in one of the store windows. What is it Sora? Naruto asked. And nothing Naruto-sama. Sora smiled. Okay. Naruto said. After a while they stopped by a nicely built home. Sakura knocked on the door. Our old man opened up. He had a grey beard, and was wearing shorts and sandals with a black vest. You're here thank goodness, he said. You're here thank goodness. The old man signed with relief. Yes, Sakura said dipping her head with respect. Please come in, the old man said opening up the door. As the six of them walked in Naruto saw the old man look at Sora, with eyes filled with terror. What is it? Naruto asked. Why you're that girl? The old man said trembling taking a step back. Huh? What do you mean old man? Naruto asked looking down at Sora who was holding onto his pant leg. T that girl you have there has the demon tiger sealed within her. She's a monster like her parents. The man said pointing at Sora trembling. Naruto froze, so that meant his dream was true. Naruto slowly looked down at Sora imaging her turning into a the demon tiger. Naruto snapped his head away. No old man you're wrong, even if she does have a demon tiger sealed within her doesn't mean she is a monster. Naruto said looking straight at the man. But she can go lose at any time. The old man trembled. Look do you see her going lose right now? No so calm down we came here for a reason, to bring back a valuable item to this village, or you. Kiba chimed in being frustrated. Naruto was grateful for Kiba trying to drop the subject. The old man still looked uncertain but nodded, and gave them a hand signal to follow him. They reached what seemed to be the living room to Naruto. That so-called valuable item can control the demon tiger within that girl you're with. The old man said. Naruto looked confused and so did the other, but Hanata she looked like she knew what he meant. The item is a red diamond, it's not an ordinary diamond it can separate the demon tiger out of that little girl. The old man pointed at Sora. Naruto looked at Sora she was trembling, she was holding onto Naruto's leg tighter now than before. Naruto couldn't see Sora being a monster she was so shy and adorable. So you're telling me that the red diamond can separate the demon tiger from Sora's body and can control it? Sakura asked. The old man nodded. They're trying to use her as a weapon I'm guessing. Kiba said. I had the same thought. Ino chimed in. The thing is, is that they would need the girl in a circle for a ritual. The old man said. Hanata can you take Sora out for a bit, I would like to ask a few personal questions. Naruto asked looking over to Hanata. Naruto's heart skipped a beat at her beautiful face. S sure Naruto-kun. Hanata said. Naruto looked down at Sora. It's okay I'll see you in a little bit. Naruto smiled patting her head. Sora looked up at him with uncertain eyes but nodded and went with Hanata as they walked out. Alright old man, what did you mean by Sora's parents being monsters? Naruto asked. They were monsters, they killed off a Who clan. No one never knew what clan it was being it was hidden. The old man said. They did it for fun too, but when that girl's mother had her she was going to kill her baby. Because the baby would bring them down on their murderous crimes. The old man said. But the father did some research and found out a sealing technique that could seal the famous demon tiger that could destroy 10 villages in less than a minute. But they would have to use it on a newborn so that's what they did. They were going to use it as a weapon but it failed. The old man went on. A man named Miro Kingaray took the child before it grew up becoming a weapon to them. The child grew up with Miro until she was five. Miro was killed in battle before the little girl's eyes. Apparently when he child was growing up with her parents found out a way to still use the demon tiger as a weapon, they would have to separate it out of their child's body. But Miro was already prepared for that, he did a sealing jutsu and used the red diamond, so they couldn't separate it without the diamond. The man went on. Naruto looked over at the others, they seemed so intent to listen further, even Naruto was so he looked back at the old man. When the parents found out about the diamond they suddenly disappeared. 
I guess more other people heard and wanted to use the girl as a weapon for their own use. The old man finished. Naruto grinded his teeth, he hated people who would use people as weapons for their own use. He wouldn't let anybody use Sora as a weapon. Naruto felt his hand gripping tightly. Naruto heard the door open and saw it was Sora and Hanata. W we went to look around at the stores. Hanata said. Thanks Hanata. Naruto smiled, feeling his heart beat fast. Alright, how about we all leave to search for some clues to where their hideout is? Sakura asked. Alright. Naruto said gipping his fists. Whatever. Kiba said. Oh okay. Hanata said shyly. Ino just gave a nod. We'll leave Sora here with the old man, and Kiba, since he can smell people coming from far away. Sakura said. Okay then everything is settled now let's go. Naruto said grinning. Naruto looked back at Sora who was sleeping down on the guest bed. As the four of them walked out of the house they all split up. Report back here in an hour if you found anything. Sakura said. They three ninjas nodded and raced away. Looking around in the village Naruto thought of where their hideout could be. Thinking back to where they first set up camp Naruto found Sora by a pond close to them. Sora couldn't have gone far from their hideout. Looking around Naruto saw that the village was quite peaceful. Naruto gave a warm smile, he liked having peace but wherever is peace there was trouble. Signing Naruto decided he should go tell the others about his theory. Racing back to the spot Sakura told them to check back in Naruto stood waiting. After a few minutes Naruto felt a tug on his pants. Looking down he saw it was a little boy, yes. Naruto asked giving him a smile. Are you a real ninja? The boy asked excitedly. Yep, I'm a real ninja. Naruto said giving a big grin. Cool. Does that mean you're on a mission? The boy asked giving a big smile. Yeah, a very important mission. Naruto said. Naruto saw Sakura skid to halt next to them with Hanata and Ino behind her. Good you're here, we found their hideout. Sakura panted. Naruto's eyes grew wide, right let's get back to Kiba and Sora. Naruto said. Suddenly Naruto felt chills down his spine. Well I have to go, maybe he'll run into you again. Naruto waved at the boy. The boy gave him a smile and nodded then ran off. Naruto looked back at the others and nodded as they ran towards the old man's house. Seeing the house a few feet away from them the door was smashed open. Naruto and the others skid to halt. Naruto had a bad feeling about this. Looking at the others they walked up to the house and entered it. Looking inside the walls were ripped and smashed, the furniture was thrown around and the windows were broken. Naruto's heart began to pound fast, racing to the room he last saw Sora it was empty the bed sheets and room was destroyed. Naruto looked down grinding his teeth. Damn it. Naruto yelled punching the walls. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it you. Naruto yelled punching the wall harder and harder. Naruto calm down it's okay we'll get her. Sakura said putting her hand on Naruto's shoulder. Yay. You're right. Naruto said. That will be it for this video if you want more comment down below, like, subscribe. And see you guys later.